what would you do if you were the last person on earth but household utilities, water, electricity, and internet, still work properly? Very little would actually change, except not having to go to work. A bit more breaking and entering for food and a lot more public nudity. It's not breaking and entering if no one else lives anywhere. It's all yours baby. Ha ha. I'd ration out the buildings and try to profile the people who lived in them as a semi-social activity. Like reading a new book every week. I used to clean out foreclosed homes and this game is sad. You probably end up killing yourself. Well, yeah, for foreclosed homes it would be. But everyone disappeared so it's not the case that every empty house he visits used to belong to someone desolate who is on hard times and depressed, like foreclosed homes are. It's free real estate. Travel around staying in mansions and cool places, use the internet to learn how to fly a plane so I can travel further. But I'd probably crash on my first try so that would end things pretty quickly. Flight simulator is a thing. Computer will crash on the first try. Steal a 3090. It's not stealing when nobody owns it. When there's only one person, communism works perfectly. Until you try to seize the means of reproduction. Flashbacks to last man on earth. I'd rather have a helicopter so I could have more options for landing granted fuel would be more worrisome I feel. Helicopters are way more difficult to fly than a plane though. I flew in a military grade helicopter simulator and killed us several times when trying to land. I have a family member who is a helicopter pilot and flies Cessna airplanes as a hobby. They said the Cessna is way easier. You're correct about the gas mileage, a smaller helicopter may get more but a Blackhawk only gets 250 to 300 miles per fill up. That's a lot of opportunities to crash when you have to fill up the tank so often. Just a thought. Helicopters are way more difficult to fly than a plane though. In real life in GTA. Probably check out places that were previously off limits. Fort Knox, Area 51, see if there's really a hall of records underneath the Sphinx, Seat Bank, etc. Edit, I did mean the Svalbard Global Seat Vault, thumbs up, not bank, person shrugging, mail sign. How good's your Latin? Enough to summon Satan. Then you wouldn't be alone on earth. Win-win. Sounds pretty damn wholesome to me. It'd be a hell of a good time. Google Translator works on electricity. I have time. Horribilis. You know how to fly a plane. Really going to want that skill set if you plan to travel to all of those. Not really, you now have all the time in the world to see the sights on the way to these places. Good luck crossing the Atlantic then. Bering Straits. Go west not east. I suppose he could take a boat if he wanted. Die lost at sea rather than in a fiery crash. Which seed bank? There's lots of vaults where seeds are kept in case of genetic failures. He's probably referring to the Svalbard Global Seed Vault, which is about five minutes from where I am right now in my house. Brother, you live in Svalbard? Would love to go back one day. The seed vault was under renovation when I went so we couldn't go near. I've always wanted to live in a big grocery store, just walk around and eat whatever I want. The dream. Until it all goes out of date laughing out loud edit, never thought a comment that I had totally forgotten about would create such a discussion about food and electronics. I would definitely pick up some of those vacuum sealer things and start keeping and freezing as much as possible. Since utilities will still be working, you can toss out the junk from the frozen slash refrigerated sections and use them to store your vacuum sealed food. Plus you'd have all the time and space needed to grow your own food. You can't grow Oreo cookies. Not with that mindset you can't. That's why original post said grocery store. Gross airy. Then head to the Best Buy to get some new electronics and also smash some of them. Fill up a bag with several dozen SSDs. Hell yay and then smash them. 
Imagine having a C's candy all to yourself. I mean, hopefully you like chocolate. Comment last in every YouTube video. That would take some time man. Build a bot that does it for me. The programming tutorial video ends on how to build a YouTube comment bot episode 120, one more EP. To go. Comma because the Indian guy making it are gone. This made me shed a tear, imagine that. Username checks out laughing out loud. I would commence to wonder, if all those utilities, water, electricity, internet, etc., worked on their own, why did I pay all those monthly bills? No no, they need to be paid. It's just that aliens feel bad for you being the last one alive so is pity they're paying for it for you. They need to be paid. Trust me, they wouldn't work for long. I work for a utility and infrastructure is very needy. Probably sleep and have a wank to be honest. Wait, that's just everyday life. Not if you do it in public. It's not public if no one is there though. Could be animals around? If you wank in public and nobody is around to see it did you really wank? Unsure. Better test results again. No, that's freedom. No more work. No more obligation. Just sleeping and wanking. Absolute freedom. Until you starve when everything in the local Costco has gone bad. Even with utilities running, you still need food, and it won't grow itself. What about non-perishable food such as canned goods? Get a boat and a car, I don't trust myself to fly a plane, and see the sights of the world in peace. You trust yourself to navigate a boat across the ocean? Got nothing better to do. Wanking? I hear that there is a fair amount of porn on the internet. What if your kink is new content? Record your own wanking, post on the internet, then wank to it. Then record yourself wanking to that and you have an infinite loop. It's not that difficult. I can teach you in an hour the fundamentals of sailing. Get a get a copy of Jimmy Cornell's World Cruising Guide and plug coordinates into an autopilot. Teenagers and octogenarians have successfully solo circumnavigated. The scary parts will be, do you have any idea how to provision a boat, run a water maker, maintain onboard systems if something goes wrong? You don't have modern weather routing, so you're effectively going to have to read a book or two for recommendations on preferred times for that sort of crossing, then hope for the best that you don't end up in a Force 10 hurricane or something else equally horrible. I can teach you in an hour the fundamentals of sailing no you can't. I'm alone in the world. I know humans have known how to sail for thousands of years, but I'm not one of them, and being the last person on earth seems like a bad time to learn. If I was going to try, I would drive to Miami, find the biggest mega yacht I can, load a grocery store into it, and point it west east, this is why I should not be trusted on a boat. That's about as far as I trust myself to get. I'd hit land eventually I'm sure. Whether it's Africa or Europe, I will not know. If you point a yacht west from Miami and hit Africa, you're an impressively bad sailor. But if you point a yacht west from Africa and hit Miami America will name a holiday after you. As the only person alive in the world, I suppose you might feel inclined to do so. Hell if you point west from Miami and hit something other than Miami, I would be effing impressed. Guilty as charged. This is why I should not be trusted on boats, with maps, or around any powered vehicle. West of Miami is more Florida, than the Gulf of Mexico, than Mexico slash Texas depending on how straight your course is. Omg you're right, this is why I should not be trusted on boats. Or, any powered vehicle honestly. I see a lot of people saying they'd have a wank. Would you not at least go get the most realistic sex doll you could find? Op said you're the last person on earth, never said anything about animals. Jeez. Wrong vowel, I think you meant she is. The most correct answer. I know right, that's why I said I'd get a vibe.
Thank you for watching. If you like our videos, please like them on YouTube and share them with your friends. Please subscribe to be the first to know about Red Rabbit Reader's new videos. We welcome your comments below. Another of our videos will begin shortly.